Oh, shit. Yeah, where's that fucking mic? Yeah, we got this thing going. Yeah. Oh. I'm... Are you... Am I'm amped. Are you fucking... I'm amped. Look, check it out. Look. Yes. See, I'm a gamer. And everyone loves this movie. The world is yours. The world is yours. It's a video game. We're not talking about this video game. We're talking about Fallout. Or any other game. Like GTA. Holy shit. The world is yours. Why are you not taking it over? What are you doing when you play the game? What is your goal? What is your mission? What is your purpose? You know, is it fun? Is it to goof off? Whatever, but like, what are you doing? Oh, I know. I'm so aggressive. Well, ah, let's just have fun with this video and see where it goes. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm saying the PvP aspect of this is fair. Look, they're wanted. They want it, right? Why are you going wanted? Oh, I don't know any better. Motherfucker, you're level what? 600? There's a level 600 over there? And the 145, I think it is? He doesn't? No, come on. They know what they want. They, they want it. But this is clever. See this guy? Look, he's, he's wanted. Oh, I'm picking on a low level because he's wanted. I'm 752. What the? You think? Who, who else is going to be? Everyone's a low level at this point. See, the issue is you guys don't want to try. You guys are afraid of try hard. Being a try hard isn't like a bad thing. And it's actually not even a thing. Like try hard, like either you do or you don't do. Wasn't trying to make a movie reference there, but seriously. But anyways, this is, I mean, how is PvP not fair? I don't want to hear the same shit. Legacies and it's unbalanced and blah, blah, blah. What is unbalanced about the game? You all came out of the fucking vault, right? You get to choose what you want to do. See, I'm going in looking for this guy. This guy, you can play how you want. You can PvP how you want. No other game is this fair when it comes to PvP. Only Fallout. Call of Duty. You don't pick the map. Sometimes you can vote, but you don't pick the map. You don't pick... There's a lot of stuff you don't pick, and you're just in it. You know? In here, you pick who you want to fight... How you want to fight, how many you want, if you want to gang up or, or 1v1 or however you want to do it. You get to pick it. You get to pick the location and time. You get to pick it if you want to set up. Like this guy is hiding in a shelter. At least like, well, he's hiding in a shelter. But he's got something creative coming, a little foreshadow there. He, he did something creative. That's why he's wanted and hiding. He's, But he's playing it his way. See, and I can either play this and check it out. Or I can go on my own way. Or I can stay in passive. If I don't want to fight this guy, I don't have to. And no one can do anything about it. So why are you guys saying it's not fair? Alright, a little difficulty. So anyways, <clears throat> how's it not fair? See, this guy set up his shelter. As you can tell, I'm getting wanted. If I want to PvP this guy, I gotta go through this little maze with all these doors and get wanted more and more. But at this point, I'm like, you know what? I'm in a PvP mood. Let's see what happens. How is this not fair? Right? Clearly, I know I'm getting wanted. Clearly, I can see the money going up. And this is a maze. I mean, this is pretty creative. How is that unfair? You know? Leave some comments. Let me know. As I mentioned before, you all left the vault. You get to pick what missions you want to do, how you want to do it. Go up in level, get XP, not what weapons you want to choose. Then you got to learn if you want to commando build, sneak build. <clears throat> you know, see, like this guy. He could have shot at me. He didn't. He chose not to PvP. How is that not fair? Right? He got to pick and choose at that moment in time if he wanted to PvP me or not. You know, maybe I'd win, maybe i lose, but that's totally fair. He decided not to. You do Call of Duty or you do Halo, you know, Infinity, you have the match, you have the match timer, and everyone just starts, and it's big old cluster, you know, going on. But here, you can dictate how you want it to go. How is that not cool? You know, like I said, take over the world, the world is yours. Don't you want to be the, the hero or the villain or the ruler, whatever? Don't you want to get to the top? You know, in GTA, you want to be the biggest... Crime, underboss, lord, whatever, you know, with the smuggling of the illegal guns and the black market and all that shit, right? And, of course, Grand Theft Auto.
you know in halo you want to eradicate other species and <laughs> control the universe you know what's the difference here what are you trying to do here just survive just dwell what you know but see this is slick see i go i, I get to the end and the dude put a wall you know and i had a couple things i probably could have done and try to kill him but he leaves so you know there's that but he played how he wanted to play whether i like it or not he had fun he did what he was going to do and no one could tell him different so why are you letting other people tell you different play how you want and that's the thing maybe that's the big issue is a lot of players don't know how to think for themselves oh i am so sorry i'm saying some harsh stuff but maybe they don't what backlash are you worried about what is someone gonna take your car from you are they gonna evict you from your home fire you from your job it's a video game it's in the game it's allowed so there is no backlash <clears throat> the only backlash you're gonna hear is from unfortunately the players that can't play and they're gonna whine and they're gonna cry that's just a part of it that shouldn't stop you from playing you know See, and here's another person. They chose not to PvP. How's that not fair? Right? Obviously, I want to, you know, PvP. That's right, everybody. Today's episode is brought to you by yours truly. Got to promote. These videos take effort. I need a little bit of funding. So if you guys want to help support the channel, feel free to do so. You can check out the merchandise. We got beanies. We got... cut. Whoa, what the... And I got a follower. Thank you guys so much for following this person. <laughs> Jim, JM, you're going to be in some videos for a while. I do appreciate it. Like I said, I do appreciate what you guys are all doing. If you guys want to share the love and share the wealth, feel free to check out my merchandise. I got t-shirts. You know me. I love my sleeveless shirts. But we also have hoodies, so, you know, and other beanies. I do a variety. We got regular t-shirts. Got a little notepad if you want to jot it down. You know, I'm all there. Feel free to check it out. I want to thank everybody for coming by and checking out this video, and let's get back to that video, huh? Time to do so. All right. You like this guy? Is he going to turn? Like this guy. Is he going to turn? Oh, he wants to, he wants to PvP. He's level 432. I guess he's too low for me to do anything, but he wanted it. How's that not fair? I mean, he followed me here. Clearly he wanted to. Boom. Let's do this. That's How is that totally not fair? He followed me. I mean, maybe that's it. Maybe the game is so more fair that it just blows everybody mind, you know? I mean, and, and Grand Theft Auto, you can, like, orbit blast somebody just about anywhere on the map. So, a little discussion you could have with that, you know? I mean, here I am. Like I said, in, in Halo, you can vote on the map unless you do a private game. But you can't really pick your location here. I can pick how I want to fight, and who I want around me, and how I want to set this up, you know? And then people have a choice either to come over here and PvP or come over here and say hi or not. How is that not fair? In what fucking game, in what fucking sport can you go into the match, like football or whatever, and go into the match and be like, you know what, I'm not going to finish playing, and then walk away, and it doesn't count as a loss? What game can you do that? Just like you saw in that maze. They're in there. They come up to me. They can shoot or not. They chose not to. And it's not a loss. Because they just walked away. They didn't engage. So how is that not totally fair and very unique? No other game. Tell me what game does that. Maybe we need to think about it a little more. What game does that? That's what I want to know.
And as you can see, this is the most I've ever been wanted, 510 caps. I don't think I've ever been this high. Uh, no pun intended with that one. But <clears throat> no one's coming over here. It's a decent-sized lobby. No one's... Like I said, how is that not fair? They can pick and choose to come over here or not. I'm wanted. Clearly, I want a PvP, but they don't want to come over here. Interesting, huh? DJ Jekyll on YouTube. Man, my camp has changed. This is one of my first camps. But another question I wanted to ask is, what proposals do you have to fix it? If you say it's unbalanced, and you say it's toxic, well, what solutions do you have? Because I don't hear any solutions. If you think it's not balanced, what part of it is not balanced? What is it that you need to do to figure out how to beat and win at PvP? It seems like what the issue is. You know, you guys have been following my videos, you know, you'll see, like, you know, I've, I've improved. And I wasn't good at PvP in this game in the beginning. I didn't know nothing about it. And I've gotten better. Why isn't no one else getting better? Why is everybody bent on staying at level 200 or 100 and then just crying wolf, you know? Unless they find someone worse off than them, then they win. And they're like, oh, I beat a high level. But if it happens in reverse, they get all mad. So is that what you guys are upset about? Is that the unbalance you're talking about? That you can't shit talk everybody? You know, that was something that someone said in person that... um. <clears throat> That's what they liked, and that's what unbalances that. In, for example, like Call of Duty, after the match, you can just shit talk everybody. But then they did an update, and now I guess there's proximity hearing. A lot of people are offended by that, and they don't like the proximity hearing. And it seems to me that a lot of the trash talkers can't handle getting trash talk. You know, I did a video where there was a guy trash talking us, and I was hitting him with a shovel, and he didn't know his mic was on or something, and it was all recorded. Once we started talking to him, just like, what are you doing? Uh, he couldn't handle it and booked it. So is that the unbalance you guys are talking about? But yeah, again, what solutions do you have to make it balance? What fix? What do you have to fix it? That's what I want to know. All right, let's continue. And then you got those people that say that they're stacking and cheating, and at this point, my friends and I we're we're bored. With me being wanted, no one's doing anything. I don't want to walk around to an event, you know, and then get clipped. See, and that's a, how is that not fair? I get to set up how I want to end, because the only way to lose your wanted is to wait the two hours or get killed. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to let my friends do it. How is that not fair? You know, plus this is a good way to practice PvP and see how that works out. You know what I'm saying? You guys are going to see something really cool. See, now it's two on one. And how is it not fair? I can make the build however I want. See? Look at that. I didn't die. What's that in the corner? See? But no one talks about this stuff. No one talks about actually how to get a good PvP build. How exactly... What kind of build you need to rule the world. Look at that. I got... It's two on one right now, technically. <clears throat> See? Well, yeah, that pretty much sums it up. I mean, look, this is from the beginning, you know. Didn't know about power armor, didn't know anything about, didn't even know PvP was, like, really a thing. I thought they took that all out. So I had, like, no information. So is this fair or unfair? I had the choice to play how I wanted, and I decided, well, you know, I'm at this point in time, I was tired of GTA and PvP and all the time. You always have to keep your head on a swivel. Kind of have to do that in this game, but this game you can turn passive on or off. That's fucking cool. What game can you do that? Can you do that in Halo or Call of Duty? Whoa, wait a minute, hold on. Let me go in passive real quick. I got shit to do. You can go in passive at any time, ends the fight. So I came over and I'm like, well, I don't want to PvP. Let me explore. Let me check some things out, you know. Because I kind of like the building aspect of it, but but that was my choice. How is that totally not fair? You know? And then, as you can see, no one's blowing up camps. I know it happens, but you probably piss somebody off if your camp's getting destroyed. Because, or it's a setup, they're lying. I mean, there's a lot of disinformation out there in the world, if you guys don't understand that. You know, so a lot of these camps and all these people complaining 
um, they're just doing it to troll or for some other alternative motive, you know, no big deal. You gotta remember that, but like, yeah. So tell me what you guys think. I think it's fair. Leave some comments, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Appreciate you all being here. Have a good one. Thank you for watching DJ Jekyll 6-5.